Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are uh, discussing a statistics and this is video lecture number 7. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 6 before watching this part 7. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about uh, coefficient of heresy. So, why coefficient of heresy is required? First, so let me explain this. Coefficient of heresy is required for comparison of two uh, type of data, two different series. Um, that which series is more variable or less variable. So, for uh, finding this, the coefficient of variations can be determined. A coefficient of variations uh, can be determined by using a formula, a particular formula. So, let us discuss uh, this topic today. Coefficient of analysis of frequency of distribution. This is the topic. Analysis of frequency distribution. Frequency see distribution analysis of frequency distribution so how to deal with this analysis of frequency distribution what will be that so in this case the coefficient of distribution uh, is to be determined the coefficient of distribution variation the coefficient of variation coefficient of variation is defined as variation is defined as defined as cv is equal to coefficient of variable shortly sigma upon x bar multiply by 100 where sigma bar is not equal to 0 where uh, sigma is what is the symbolic representation sigma h where sigma h a standard deviation a standard deviation of data deviation of data and uh, standard deviation of data and uh, this one is x bar is mean of the data x bar is mean mean of the data okay so you can find it let us discuss one question <coughs> through which we will uh, decide whether which one is more or less variable right now so let us discuss one question so here is a question it is given that from the data given below a state which group is more variable a or b marks is given and group a and group b is given right so we have to calculate this that which one of them is more variable so we have to find coefficient of variance for a and coefficient of variance for b then only we will be able to say that which one of these two are more variable so to find this coefficient of variance of a we need to find as per formula standard deviation as well as mean also so let us use this formula and first we are going to find out the standard deviation of a and then we will find the standard deviation of b so let me draw a new table for it so here i have uh, written all this information what is in this question and marks frequency of a and frequency of b that is a group a group b now uh, we can find now calculation on the basis of this that x i is the mean value that is 15 25 35 45 55 65 75 so here x i can be taken as mid value as 3 and 3 6 1 7 so the middle one will be like this 45 this will be middle one. So using this, we can have, so here it will be a 0, 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and this is 1, 2, and 3. Now, F A Y A is uh, minus 27, and this we have to multiply. So minus 34, minus 32, and 0, and 40 and 10 to the 20 and 9 to the 27 this is y1 square it is 9 4 1 0 1 4 9 isn't it so now we can multiply f a y a square so 9 9 ja 81 17 4 ja 68 32 1 ja 32 this is 0 and now 40 into 1 is 40, 10 into 4, 40, and 9 into 9, 81, like this. There, FB is what uh, here again FB is given, so 
y b is same thing that will be zero because uh, mid value is being taken same so zero minus one minus two minus three this is one two and three so now we can multiply this f b y b is minus 30 so that will be minus 30 this is minus 20 minus 30 again this is 0 and 43 30 and 7 3 ja 21 right now and uh, this will be 9 4 again this will be yb square is 0 1 4 9 1 4 and 9 as well now we have to find uh, multiply f b uh, yb square that is 10 into 9 90 20 into 4 80 30 into 1 30 25 into 0 is 20, 0 and 43 into 1 is 43 and 30 into 15 is 4 15 into 4 that is uh, what 15 into 4 is uh, 60 and uh, this is 7 7 into 9 is 63 so that will be also right so now we can sum up all this we need a f a y a so mean is equal to mean x bar is given as mean for x a like this x a is a plus sigma um, f i y i y a f a y a upon sigma f a multiply by h so that can be for uh, this one 45 it will be 45 plus what is f a y a f a y a is sum of all these so it will be like uh, 27 and 27 cancel 34 plus 12 is minus 14 and here plus 8 minus 14 plus 8 is minus 6 so minus 6 f a y a is minus 6 divided by total sum of frequency a is given here that is uh, total sum will be what um, and h is already uh, this is this is the summation of all the data which is given above and that i have sum up here now length of class interval is uh, 10 so you uh, know the one method for mean which can be calculated by using this mean a is equal to x a bar is equal to a plus sigma a phi y i y a divided by sigma f i f a multiply by h so in that case this would be 45 plus minus 6 divided by f a is 150 multiply by 10 so this cancels and this is 0 0.4 so it will be 45 minus 0 0.4 and that will be 44.6 this is mean a and now a standard deviation of a so a standard deviation of a, a standard deviation deviation a standard deviation sigma a is equal to what is that so we can calculate it h by n into n times of sigma a phi y i square minus a phi y i whole square under root right so using this uh, you will write out that uh, h is 10 upon this is 150 again it is 150 multiply by a phi y a square that is uh, what is uh, 342 right uh, 342 and uh, minus a phi y i that is minus 6 whole square minus 6 whole square right so that will be uh, 1 by 15 into under root this is a uh, that will be 15, uh, 51264 so it will be uh, something uh, calculated after calculating this so coefficient of variation coefficient of variation variation of series a 
marks a is given by sigma a upon x a bar multiplied by 100 right now this is what the formula so we will use it sigma a upon x bar multiplied by 100 and then uh, this will be coefficient of variance of a will be sigma a that is which is 15.09 divided by x bar x bar i have calculated here 44.6 that is 44.6 multiply by 100 which will be equal to so this is equation 1 now uh, similarly we can calculate coefficient of mean first mean for b is equal to mean x b mean x b is equal to a plus sigma f b y b divided by sigma f b multiply by h that is 45 plus this is 14 upon 150 multiply by 10 0 0 cancel because f b y b is nothing else but 14 so we can uh, find it uh, 45 upon 14 point this so it will be 45 plus that will be 45.93 now uh, standard deviation a standard deviation of this is standard a standard deviation for b is given by standard deviation for b the standard deviation for b is given by for b is given by given by sigma b is equal to h by n into under root n times of sigma f b y b square minus sigma f b y b whole square right this we have to write so here what will happen that will be h that is 10 upon 150 into under root f b y b that is 150 multiply by what is the sum f b y b square is calculated here 366 so 366 right now so this is nothing else but 366 366 minus 14 whole square and that comes up 1 by 15 into under root so that will be 15.59 now coefficient of variance for b is given now as therefore coefficient of variance coefficient of variance coefficient of variance for b for uh, series b series b is given by is given by cb is equal to sigma b upon x b bar multiply by 100 isn't it so sigma b is uh, we have calculated just 15.59 right now 15.59 15.59 and divided by x b bar is what 45.93 45.93 multiply by 45.93 multiply by 100 so in that case what will happen 45.93 multiply by 100 so that will come up 33.94 so here coefficient of variance for b is given as 33.94 this is second equation and what is the first is 30 equation is 33.83 this is 33.94 so clearly coefficient of variance for b is slightly more than coefficient of variance for a clearly from first and second first and second coefficient of variance coefficient of variance coefficient of variance clearly from first and second coefficient of variance for um, a is slightly less than coefficient of variance for b 
variance for b for b and therefore comparatively therefore a is slightly more consistent a is slightly more consistent consistent than b than b similarly you can solve some more questions uh, on the basis of this and uh, hopefully uh, you will do that all questions are of same nature this is a too lengthy uh, so you have seen here that how much effort is being required for solving one question so this is the subjective one and there is no uh, use of this in competitive examination except this formula so this formula is important right the rest of things this is so long calculation will never ask in any competitive examination in a school examination uh, there is also less possibility but if they will ask it will be asked for six marks right now maximum marks um, but uh, and the knowledge as far as concerned with the knowledge um, it is very important for you to understand that how can you find the variability of data and consistency uh, in performance of some uh, series of data so this is all about in this lecture so i hope you got it thank you thank you very much this is all about the statistics as well in uh, what i have to tell you so that's all thank you thank you very much god bless